Do you ever ask yourself, why do I keep attracting the same toxic relationship? It's like, did I not learn my lesson from the last relationship? So why am I still attracting the same type of person, but in a different body? Well, if you asking yourself those questions, then you came to the right place. So welcome to soul therapy. Okay. To call me your soul therapist, because what we're going to do on this segment of my channel is we're going to start asking questions. Um, whether they're coming questions or uncoming questions. I'm going to start asking those questions that I see uh, most people asking, whether it's on social media or um, just, you know, just the internet or television, whatever. Okay. The questions that I see in my comment sections, that I see on other people comment sections, videos, whatever. I want to find out the answers to those common questions and why do we keep doing it? Okay, so sometimes the answer consists of um, something that's not lining up, something that's out of alignment. What is out of alignment? It could be your chakras. Okay, your shock. If your chakras are out of line, um, that can cause some events to occur in your life that you did not want to happen. That can cause some um, some pain to come into your life that you did not want to come into your life. It can cause all type of events. It can cause some depression. It can cause some anxiety. It can cause um, a fear. Okay, so what we're going to do with the soul session is we're going to ask the question, why do we keep attracting the same toxic relationship? Find out what chakras are out of line and how can we fix them? Let's get started. All right. I hope I explained that right, honey, because it's like, I just want to get to the business. How can we help? Okay. So we got passion, destiny, and passion. Mm, got grief, destiny, and passion. So let's find out what else can come out. Like, why do we keep attracting the same type of partner and not just any partner why do we keep attracting the same toxic partnership all right let's see what I see here hmm okay all right. Now, why do the question again is why do you keep attracting the same toxic relationship? And it looks like to me, the first thing that I see here, okay, uh, the is I'm I'm looking at somebody that's grieving, okay, because the grief card is the first card that's out, which means someone is, and with this card, it means because um, what is grief? Grief is just pretty much a is love that has no place to go. Okay, it's love that was once here that is no longer, and that is what caused grief. So, because we have some grief that we probably was, uh, we probably was brought up in this grief. Okay, this probably was something that was surrounded us as a child. Okay, and because of this grief, it's like that is what we illuminate out, that is what we put out to the world. Which, like I said, it's love, but it's love without a place to go. So it's like you seeking attention, like you seeking this connection with somebody. Because with the destiny card being next, because now the grief card is speaking of the heart chakra. That means that your heart chakra is out of line and that green is here twice. So we know now that there is some matters of the heart that we need to heal. Okay, but we knew that, okay, because you leave with your heart, but you leave leaving with a heart of grief, a heart of grief that's out there looking for love, looking for a place to go and with no destination. Okay, it has no destination. So therefore, because it has no destination, it's the first person that comes out and catches it and pulls it towards it. It's the first thing that you see. And then, then you end up with a partnership that's black and white. Okay, now this partnership, because you called this person in with your heart chakra, which is a damaged heart chakra. Now you call them in with this damaged heart chakra and you feel like this person is your destiny. You feel like this person is somebody that's important to you and they are, but are they important to you in a good way or a bad way? Okay, because this destiny card speaks of somebody that may be opposite of you, 
But the thing about this partnership is that you guys made a pact with each other. You made a pact with this person, okay? Because this is speaking of the crown chakra, okay? That's the highest chakra, okay? At the top of your head, the crown chakra. So you made this pact with this person maybe in a past life. Maybe, um, and, and, you know, but regardless, you made this pact with each other to come together in this life. You and your toxic relationship. Now, because we're talking about a toxic relationship. You, you, you guys made this pact to come back together, okay, to learn from each other, to teach each other a lesson, okay? Because remember, we're talking about a toxic relationship. So this is something that was destined for you, okay? It was destined in the cards because it's speaking from your crown chakra. Now, the next chakra that I see here that could be out of line is the... Okay, with the passion card here is speaking of the... What chakra is this? Oh, this is the sacral, the sacral chakra. And this is the um, the uh, chakra that's right above your um, root chakra. Okay. It's down close to the pelvic pelvic area. Okay. So this, um, this um, chakra leads with your emotion. So it's like, now remember, you're coming from grief. You're, 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 you grew up, you're rooted from grief, okay? And it's coming from your heart chakra. So I don't. this is something that was instilled in you. This is something that you, it's almost like it's something that you grew up with, okay? This grief in your heart, okay? You're leading with that. So your heart chakra was off since birth, is, I'm picking up, okay? And it's in a vital situation because you see that it's growing in an emergency room. So it's vital that you make changes because right now your heart is in the ICU, should I say, because this is the emergency room. This is doors to the emergency room right here. And so yeah, this is a situation that was, honey, this was deep rooted in you. So because you, um, your heart chakra is out of line, and this is it been out of line since birth. Okay, you was you came out looking for love, searching for love. Okay, you came out and made this contract. You had this contract before birth with this person, with this toxic relationship. Okay, because really all you want is um, you want you want love and attention. You see her there. Okay, shining. I mean, she really shining bright with passion. Okay. And, and then she's really giving her all to this person. Only for this person to be looking past her. Not even looking at her. This person like they looking at the TV, honey. And this person represents someone from family. This is almost like family. This is somebody that's like almost like a grandma, grandpa, or mother. Somebody like that that's looking past you. Like I said, this is something that was deep-rooted in you from birth. Okay, maybe even generations before, because in order for you, you and this person to make this contract, this soul contract to come back to teach each other something. Yes, you both came from that. You both came from a emergency or 911 situation of your heart chakras being out of line. Okay, now we have the yellow here, the yellow cards here, which we have two here. So it's trying to come back this grief. This grief that you grew up in, which um, the yellow is also speaking of the, I think that's the, oh, that is the root chakra. No, it's not the root chakra. It is the, throat chakra? No. Let me check. Let's just get a little confused. Oh, okay. The solar plexus. All right. That's your gut instincts. Honey, I ain't afraid to pull out that book. That's your gut instincts, okay? Because, because you grew up in this grief, right? Okay? That's why you, because you grew up in this grief, that's all you knew. Your instincts were off, okay? Your solar plexus chakra is off, okay? So, therefore, your, your intuition was not working. It's like your GPS was not working properly. Okay. So you were attracting people that you had this soul contract to so that you can learn and have an awakening. Okay. So that someone can come in your life and work these miracles in your life. And this yellow is also representing like, like a light, like a, like a bright light shining down to the divine to let the divine know, okay, I'm ready for a healing. 
Okay, I'm ready for you to come in and show me the way. I'm ready for you to come in and heal my heart. Okay. It's like it's almost like you turn on the light to let let the divine know where you are located so that they so the divine know that you are ready. Okay? Because miracles are gonna start happening. But in order for them to happen, you have to welcome them into your life. Okay, and you have to be open to receiving it as well. Because sometimes because you didn't come from receiving in the beginning, you block when people try to give to you. So really, at this point, you really need to learn how to spend time alone in solitude and, and get in touch with the divine. Okay, because remember, you just turned your lights on. You want the divine to come in and heal you so that you can no longer attract these toxic relationships. Okay? Because... Because you couldn't help it. You was born in a 911 situation. You was born in an emergency situation. You grew up in a situation that was toxic. And it's very vital that you move away from that because it seems like everything is stemming from family. Family not showing you enough attention. Family looking past you. Even though you're shining real bright. I mean, you're shining real bright. But this, but this person that's in your family do not see you. So you need to heal your heart chakra, your solar Chakra will mean your gut instincts. You need your crown chakra. Along with your sacral chakra. Okay. Now let's find out how can you heal this. Um, how can we heal the, the heart chakra? How can the collective heal the heart chakra? Okay. How you heal the heart chakra? You need to trust. It says, allow me, the divine, to give you my deepest longing, trusting you will know exactly how to handle them. Okay, you need to trust the situation in order to eliminate this grief and this and this 911 situation of your heart chakra. Okay. Okay, you need to listen to the signs. Okay. Trust and listen to the signs that you are receiving. Because it says your instincts are the message from the divine. Remember, you turned on your light to let the divine know that you are ready to receive these messages. Okay. Now, trust that these messages that you are receiving, okay, are the signs that you need, need. Okay. So, it says refrain. This is happening for me, not to me. Remember that. This situation is not happening. Um, happening. This, this situation is happening for you, okay, which means you're learning from this situation, okay? Don't look at this situation as, why is it happening to me? Why, why, why? Because remember, you made this contract with this person. You made contract with this toxic relationship. Now, you may have made contract with a couple of to toxic relationships because you probably didn't learn from the first one. And you probably knew you, you wasn't going to learn, so that's why you probably made a contract with probably four or five different relationships. You knew you wasn't going to learn from the first one. Okay, but this is definitely a contract that you made before you even was born on this earth. That's why you was born into all this grief, this 911 situation of the heart. And your heart was born in the emergency room. Now, I know everybody was born in the emergency room, but no, we're not born in the emergency room. We're born in the NICU. We're born in the uh, labor and delivery room, not in the emergency room. Okay, so no, but, but in order to... To, um, the reason why you're um, attracting this toxic relationship is because, yeah, your heart was born in a 911 situation in the emergency room, okay? Which means there was some injury there already before you was born. There was already injuries, vital injuries, okay? So, next week, the Destiny card, we have companionship. It says, giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. Now, in order to attract this non-toxic relationship you need to be able to give someone your complete present which is an astonishing gifts okay to have companionship with somebody because that's the goal right so that's the goal and like i said just like you have this contract to attract this toxic relationship you also have a contract for true companionship that once you learn from this lesson that this partnership this true companionship is going to come in it's going to be your true um your true divine counterpart. Okay. Let's find out how to heal this sacral um, chakra. Okay. Okay. Now we need self-love. 
because you see her she's over here looking for love she's over here giving passion giving her all shining bright for a person in her family or a friend somebody that's close to her and they're looking right past her so what you have to have is self-love for yourself it says let the wall fall that separate me from my own vulnerable inner child okay i can't make this up this is an inner child you need to heal your inner child because as a child you probably was dressed up and always saying look at me mom let me show you this i can read this i could do this just for them to look past you and not even see that honey your third grader is actually reading on a sixth grade level your your eighth grader is actually reading a college level book it's like they're looking past your shine okay they're looking past your shine they don't even see it so you have to have your own self-love and heal your inner child because remember you was born in this 911 emergency situation you wasn't born in the ultimate love or the, that unconditional love you was born into love that had conditions okay so you got to have self-love for yourself it says i long to take care of myself like never before which means like never before, like no one has ever done before for you. You're going to take care of yourself better than you have, that anyone has ever taken care of you. And you're going to start doing that right now. Now, okay, and that's how you're going to heal that, um, your sacral chakra. Next, we're going to find out how to heal your, I don't know why I keep on forgetting what this yellow. Yeah, okay, the gut instincts. <laughs> your gut instincts, which is your solar plexus. Your solar plexus chakra, which is your your guide, your light, your GPS to let you know, to let the vibe know I'm ready. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready for this contract to change. How do we get up? There we go. Change. What did I just say? I said well, I'm ready for this change. Change is here. Man, come on. Come on through the vibe. Come through. Okay, it says, when the ego finally sees the other madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroad in your own evolution. Mm, mm, mm. So get ready to embrace some change, okay? Because like I said, if you was deep-rooted in this 911 situation, not born in that traditional condition, unconditional love, okay, you attracted this this person to you this toxic relationship to you because you had a soul contract to do so okay that's why your childhood was so not filled with love let's just say your, that's why your childhood felt like it lacked a lot of love okay because you was born with love within you but you had nowhere to place that love you had nowhere to put that love okay because people were looking right past you in your family Okay, and because these people looking right past you, the first person that looked at you when you hit the hit those streets was this toxic relationship. But it was familiar because remember, it was familiar because you had this contract with this person. Now that you had this contract with this person, you you attracted this person to you. Now you you feel like okay, I learned my lesson. I see my I see my issues. I forgive myself for allowing myself to. Um, be put in a position where people who do not love me um, are in my life. Okay, I forgive myself. So I turn on my lights to let the divine know come into my life. Okay, I'm ready for this change. I'm ready for this change. I'm ready for this contract to change. Okay, this contract is time for it to change so that I can attract true companionship in my life. Loyal companionship that only elephants can give you, honey. You know, they are so loyal to each other. And it says that you'll be able to give someone your complete presence and an astonishing gift. Okay? Because remember, nobody was ever giving you their presence. Even though you was giving them their your gifts, they was not giving you um, the satisfaction, the attention, the love that you needed. Now that you have your, you ready for this change, you are going to start attracting a more um, healthier relationship. Because guess what? You got to love yourself. Love yourself, okay, better than anybody ever loved you, okay, period. So that's going to be your reading on how to avoid toxic relationships and why do you attract them, okay? So I hope you stay tuned for the next segment of my soul therapy. Talk to you later. Bye.